let me ask you the goat question again from fantasy perspective. Can you make the case for the greatest chess player of all time for each yourself, Magnus Carlsen, for Gary Kasparov? I don't know who else, Bobby Fischer, Mikhail Tal, anyone else? Um, for uh, Hikaru Nakamura? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'll, I can make a case for uh, myself. For, for Gary and for Fisher. So I'll start with Fisher. Uh, for him, it's very, very simple. He was ahead of his time, but that's like intangible. You can say that about a lot of people. But he had a peak from 1970 to 72 when he was so much better than the others. He won 20 games in a row. Also, the way that he played was so powerful and with so few mistakes that he just had no opposition there. So he had just a peak that's been better than anybody. Like the gap between the first gap and between second him was and others have, have was greater than it's ever been in history at any other time. Uh, yeah. And that would be the argument for for him. For Gary, he's played in a very competitive era. And he's beaten several generations. He was the best. Well, he was the consensus best player, I would say, for almost 20 years, which yeah. nobody else has, has done in at least in recent time. And so the uh, longevity. That the longevity for sure. Also at his peak, he um was not quite the level of um of Fisher in terms of the gap, but it was similar to, or I think even a little bit better than than mine. As for me, I'm of course unbeaten as as a world champion in in five tries. I've been world number one for eleven years straight in an even more competitive era than Gary. I have the highest chess rating of all time. I have the longest streak ever without losing a game. I think for me, the main argument would be about the era where there's the um, engines have leveled the um, playing field so much that it's it's harder to dominate. And still, I haven't always been a clear number one, but I've always I've been number one for eleven years, and for a lot of the time, the gap has been pretty big. So I think there are decent arguments for for all of them. Um, I've said before, and I haven't changed my mind, that Gary generally edges it because of the longevity in in the competitive era. But um, there are arguments. But people also talk about you in terms of the style of play. So it's not just about dominance or the height or the. It's like just the the creative genius of it. The uh, yeah, but I'm not interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, greatest of all time. Uh, I'm not interested in 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 questions of style. So, you, so for Messi, you don't give credit for the style, uh, for the stylistic. Goals. I like, I like. Um, no, I like watching it. I just. But you're not gonna give points for the. So Messi. No, gets I mean best the, ever the, because of the finishing. Yeah, it's it's the um the f no, it's not because of the finishing. It's because of his overall impact on the game. It's higher than anybody else's. Okay. <laughs> he right. contributes. <laughs> he can just contributes more to winning than anybody else does. What's um so you, you're somebody who was advocated for and has done quite a bit of study of classic games. What would you say is um I mean maybe the number one or maybe top three games of chess ever played? It doesn't interest me at all. You don't think of the nose? No, I don't think of it. I I mean I tried to I find the games interesting. I try to learn from them, but like trying to to rank them has never interested me. What 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 games pop out to you as like super interesting? Then is there is there things like where idea like old school games where there was like interesting ideas that uh, um, that you go back or like you you find surprising and pretty cool that 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 those ideas were developed like then. Is um, there something that jumps to mind? Yeah, there are several games of young Kasparov, like before he became world champion. If you're going to ask for like my favorite player or favorite style, that's probably... Young Kasparov. Young Kasparov. Can you describe stylistically or in any other way what, 
what Yunkus Prof was like that you're that you like? Uh, it was just an overflow energy in his play. So aggressive, yeah, attacking extre- chess. extremely aggressive, dynamic chess. It probably appeals to me a lot because these are the things that I cannot do as well. Uh, that it just feels very special to me. 